Elon Musk's new nuclear rocket shocks the entire space industry. There is simply insufficient room on Earth for the world's rapidly expanding population. As a result, NASA has been exploring the possibilities of relocating some humans to space and other planets, particularly Mars, to better human conditions on Earth. The establishment of a human colony on Mars is not a choice, but a necessity. It's necessary for our species' continued existence on Earth for finding signs of life on Mars, for bettering the quality of life here on Earth, for developing a society, and for establishing our authority in the political and economic spheres. With this in mind, Elon Musk is releasing a revolutionary nuclear rocket that has shaken up the space business to its core. Just what is so unexpected about this starship exactly? Let's get the whole story from this video. In interstellar space or on another planet, power is essential to survival. Electricity is a basic necessity for running computers and engines, just as having access to light, heat, air conditioning, running water, and the ability to cook or grow food. The potential and dependability of nuclear fission as a source of all those crucial kilowatts was recognized by astronauts long before humans set foot in space. Improvements in nuclear fission and fusion are both necessary for interstellar travel, but more than 60 years into the space age, the use of nuclear fission for space travel is still mostly a pipe dream. However, NASA is now actively pursuing the Artemis program, which aims to construct a manned lunar base in the style of Apollo. Background Using nuclear retractors as a source of thrust has been considered since the very beginning of the American space program. It was in the 1950s and 1960s that the Atomic Energy Commission AEC, produced its first nuclear rockets. As a joint effort for NASA, the program resulted in functional prototypes. However, it was scrapped in the early 1970s when it became apparent that the Mars and Moon missions for which it was intended were highly unlikely to go forward. In the years following, funding for the technology has come and gone, even as other space travel technologies have advanced. Myers claims that scientists and engineers have made tremendous advances in robotic technology to explore Mars. However, transporting humans from Earth to Mars would be costly and risky, and even with ample propellant, travelers would have to spend 500 days on the Red Planet before returning to Earth with little fuel consumption. In contrast, nuclear power may enable the mission to be performed using less fuel and in less time. Is this starship economical and efficient? Nuclear power and related technologies promise to make interplanetary trips faster, more efficient, and economically feasible, ushering in a new era of human space exploration of Mars, our solar system, and beyond. Space exploration requires both nuclear fission and fusion technology to advance. Both nuclear fission and nuclear fusion produce energy, but nuclear fusion does so by uniting atomic nuclei instead of dividing them. The White House has challenged NASA to bring a 10 kilowatt nuclear power system to the moon's surface by the year 2020. In July of 2021, lawmakers allocated $110 million to NASA to fund the agency's efforts to create a new nuclear rocket that could be used to transport both freight and crew on interplanetary journeys. The use of nuclear power for propulsion would be a major factor. The number of possible launch windows for a crewed mission would increase, and the number of trips needed to deliver the fuel for such a voyage into Earth orbit would decrease. Over a decade and more than three dozen missions, the International Space Station was painstakingly constructed and weighs in a mere 420 metric tons. To accomplish a similar voyage to Mars with nuclear propulsion, 500 to 1,000 metric tons of mass would need to be launched into space. Propulsion of Starship For the foreseeable future, rockets launching from Earth will need to rely on chemical fuels. Once a spaceship reaches orbit, however, nuclear engines might take over propulsion duties and speed up its acceleration across space. NTP involves heating and liquid propellant, such as hydrogen, in a nuclear fission reactor. A spaceship can be propelled by heating a liquid which turns into a gas that then expands through the nozzle. 
With NTP, spacecraft would be able to carry less fuel into orbit, and the shorter burn periods of their engines would lower the time it takes to get to Mars by as much as a quarter. As the duration of an astronaut's space flight decreases, so does their exposure to cosmic radiation. Instead of using NTP and dealing with the storage limits that come along with it, a ship may use nuclear electric propulsion (NEP), in which the thrust is generated by transforming a heat energy from a nuclear reactor into electrical energy. Because NEP's thrust is lower but continuous, and its fuel economy is far higher than that of conventional chemical rockets, it may achieve faster speeds and theoretically reduce the time required to travel to Mars by more than 60%. Although they are more fuel efficient than chemical rockets, nuclear electric propulsion systems have a very weak thrust. What are the challenges faced by scientists? Both concepts, according to the National Academies, have substantial obstacles that must be addressed before they may be used by people. Materials that can withstand the extreme heat inside the reactor core would need to be developed for the hydrogen nuclear rocket. In addition, the rocket would require cutting-edge hydrogen storage to prevent fuel leakage. In contrast, the nuclear electric system would have massive projecting radiator panels to deal with the heat from the reactor. Further study is needed to determine how to combine the reactor with various types of thrusters and power systems. Some may be concerned about ultra-safe nuclear corporations' efforts to make launching a nuclear reactor from Earth a completely risk-free endeavor. What safety measures will be taken if a chemical rocket fails? The ultra-safe nuclear corporation's nuclear rocket scientist, Vishal Patel, has stated that the conventional rockets will be used to launch the device into orbit and that precautions will be taken if the chemical rocket fails. To prevent a nuclear meltdown in the event of a rocket explosion, the reactor would be turned off before liftoff. No one would start the nuclear rockets for the trip to Mars until they were far away enough from Earth. Patel claims that the reactor may be covered to prevent radiation from harming the astronauts. Of all the greater danger of radiation comes from space itself. Radiation from both the Sun and the Milky Way is strong enough to pose a threat to anyone outside of Earth's protective atmosphere. Using nuclear rockets would shield astronauts by reducing the duration of their space journey to an absolute minimum. On which topic do you want us to make a video for you? Let us know the topic in the comments section. The Mission of Humans to Mars As of right now, NASA's plan for a journey to Mars involves a round trip of around two years. Robotic explorers have been the only ones to visit Mars so far, and they haven't had to worry about getting back to Earth. The roundway expedition would take more than three years if humans lingered on Mars for more than a year to wait for favorable planetary alignment for the return voyage. As much as possible, NASA wants to keep the time it takes for a crew to journey from Earth to Mars to less than two years. Mission durations could be shortened and mission designers could have greater flexibility and efficiency with the help of space nuclear propulsion technologies. NASA is investigating nuclear-enabled transportation systems to enable shorter stay surface trips while keeping the round-trip crewed mission time in about two years. To complete the journey, the systems would use the favorable planetary alignment for a low-energy transit on one leg of the journey and the improved performance of the new technology on the other leg. The viability of nuclear rocket launch is still up in the air. The cost of research and development is staggering, and there are still numerous challenges to overcome before the technology can be put to practical use. When asked about the committee's suggestions, NASA stated in a statement that it will further study the recommendations and share them with stakeholders. This ends the video for today. This was about a starship which is going to be launched by SpaceX. Do you also want to be in the inhabitant of planet Mars? What are your views regarding this video? Let us know in the comments section. Like and share this video. If you have not subscribed yet, then hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon so that you won't miss out on our new content. See you in the next video.